LG Dishwasher Model LDFC2423B Troubleshooting LG's new front control dishwasher, with dynamic dry, provides the ultimate drying performance. LG's convenient front control design makes it easier than ever to preview and select the settings you want. All this is paired with the reassurance of LG's 10-year direct drive motor warranty. Troubleshooting. The dishwasher does not operate. Step 1. Check that the door is completely closed and latched, and that a cycle has been selected. If the door is not closed, or a cycle hasn't been selected, the machine will not operate. Step 2. Check that the power supply is connected and switched on. Check that no fuses have blown replace the fuse or reset the circuit breaker if needed. Step 3. Check that the water faucet is connected and functioning. The machine will not operate if no water is being supplied. A cycle takes a long time to complete. Step 1. Check that hot water is being supplied by running a hot water tap and testing the temperature. If cold water is being supplied, the need to heat the water makes the machine take longer to cycle. Step 2. See that the dishwasher is connected to the hot water line, not the cold water line. Swap if needed. Step 3. Your dishwasher will have been supplied with a PVC hose to link the water inlets at the back of the appliance to miniature valves connected to the household plumbing. Make sure the valve is turned off. The valve lever should be at right angles to the pipe. Step 4. Disconnect the hose by unscrewing it. This should be possible by hand, but if needed, carefully use a wrench to loosen it. Step 5. Check that the threads of the attachment are not worn or damaged, and replace with new hose if needed. Attach to the hot water supply. Firmly tighten by hand and turn the water valve on. Bits of food remain on the dishes. Step 1. Check that you have selected the right cycle based on dish types and degree of washing, and used the right amount of detergent. Step 2. Check that the water temperature is high enough. Ensure that the hot water faucet is connected, not the cold one. See section 2 for directions on how to change over if needed. Step 3. Turn on a hot water tap and see whether the pressure or flow of water seems reduced. Low inlet water pressure could cause this. The water pressure of the supply to the dishwasher should be between 20 and 120 psi. Normal residential water systems are designed to function at a pressure of pressure of 40 to 70 psi. A water pressure gauge can be used to test water pressure if it seems low. Options should be discussed with a plumber if your water pressure is low. Step 4. Check to see that the water jet holes of the spray arms aren't blocked. Clean the arms to unblock the holes if needed. Step 5. Check how the machine is being loaded. Improper dish loading can reduce cleaning effectiveness. Dishes shouldn't interrupt the arm rotation and detergent dispensing. Spots and filming on dishes. Step 1. Check that the rinse aid dispenser is not empty. Fill if needed to add rinse aid. Rotate the round cap on the dispenser tray counterclockwise and remove it. The tray is next to the detergent dispenser on the inside of the door. Add a liquid rinse aid to the maximum level. Replace and lock the cap. Check that the correct amount of detergent is being used. Step 2. Check that the dishwasher is being loaded as per the user instructions. The dishwasher should not be overloaded. Improper loading and overloading affects the water and detergent circulation. Step 3. Low water temperature can be the problem. The supplied water temperature should be 120 degrees Fahrenheit for the best washing performance. Run a hot water faucet to check that the hot water supply is functioning. Step 4. Low inlet water pressure could be the problem. The water pressure of the supply to the dishwasher should be between 20 and 120 psi. 
Normal residential water systems are designed to function at a pressure of pressure of 40 to 70 psi. Turn on a hot water tap and see if the pressure or flow of water seems reduced. A water pressure gauge can be used to test water pressure if it seems low. Options should be discussed with a plumber if your water pressure is low. Step 5. Extremely hard water can cause filming on dishes in a dishwasher and cause damage to the machine. Install a home water softener if you are in a hard water area. Noises. Step 1. A clunk as the detergent cover opens and drainage sounds are normal. If the noises relate to either of these, then there is nothing wrong. Step 2. Consistent noises can be caused by the machine not being fully horizontal. Check that the machine is level by using a spirit level. Adjust the feet and or reposition the machine until it is level. Step 3. Badly positioned dishes can cause a nozzle arm to knock against the dishes. Check that the washer is correctly loaded. Cloudiness on glassware. Step 1. A combination of excessive detergent and soft water can cause this. Use a little less detergent. Step 2. Underload the dishwasher to allow more effective rinsing. Step 3. Use a rinse aid. To add rinse aid, rotate the round cap on the dispenser tray counterclockwise and remove it. The tray is next to the detergent dispenser on the inside of the door. Add a liquid rinse aid to the maximum level. Replace and lock the cap.